Hey guys, welcome to the Daily Sutra. I'm TSP, the spiritual philanthropist, Rob Shiva. And today we're going to talk about a few things. Um, last time you guys really seemed to enjoy uh, some of the reactions and uh, comments and perspective that I have uh, towards uh, Pierce Morgan on uh, Bassam Yusuf, the comic, the very famous comic, Egyptian comic. And I enjoyed his work as well. I enjoyed his perspective as well. Today we're going to take a look at something completely uh not different, um, all, all related to the same topic, obviously, but it's Pierce Morgan on, or versus Hassan Abi uh, on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. So we're going to take a look at that. Now. You took to your airwaves immediately because actually you're, I wouldn't even say unconscious bias, your admitted propagandist bias on your part was that you wanted that to be an Israeli airstrike. It suited your narrative. And I would say that that in itself... Okay, so, you know... I've watched uh, all of the actual video, and, and uh, Pierce is doing what he normally does. Uh, he's putting people on the spot. They're on the spotlight. It's nerve-wracking if you know the entire world is watching and judging you. And knowing the sensitivity of the subject as well on both sides. Uh, when he is telling uh, this guy, um, uh, Abi, I guess his name is, uh, that he wanted it to be uh, an Israeli bombing uh, so it could fit his narrative. Yeah, but Pierce, you have the same thing going on too. You always kind of like assume as well, majority of the times, now you're much more careful, but a majority of the times, your narrative is based on the side of Israel, hoping as well that it's a Palestinian uh, bombing, which I think this whole idea of you guys trying to uh, basically play the blame game here is almost pathetic and sad because the reality is on both sides people have lost and are losing lives so what is the urgency necessity and need to use this platform that you have with so many people on both sides of you you know a huge population of uh of uh, viewers and uh to play this blame game this ping pong back and forth and waste time when you both actually which i guess they both are i haven't really seen the other guy his work yet but i will watch it but to actually pierce for using it and other people that that are on the media to try and talk about things on a more positive note for both sides you know this whole taking sides thing is ridiculous and uh you know this kind of uh i understand where exactly this is going because from since I can remember, uh, decades, four or five decades, you know, long in the news, it's been biased. It's always been one sided. They even had to, at one point, address when they spoke about people committing crimes or any kind of crime whatsoever. And when they would say a man committed a crime, but if it was a black man, they would specifically include it was a black man or a black person that committed that crime. If it was a white person or they would never put that. They would never say it's a white person. They would say it's just a person or a man. Now, you know, this is and this is going back years ago. Now we look today and we see the exact same thing happening over again. But, with you know, we have social media now. So, so many different perspectives come on, which you can challenge uh, the mainstream media now, which is great. You know, uh, and I think this is the problem that, that, that they're having is that it's almost they're regretting the fact that they allowed youtubers and other people in social media to speak their mind and the only way to really stop people from speaking their mind is to hold them accountable fact checking and and uh not just fact checking also uh you know did you say anything that could be harmful in any way whatsoever and and i just think that that's uh kind of silly and it's not completely silly yes you don't want to have people up here saying uh anything that's very harmful but for so many years of that harm being perpetrated by the media and whoever else is behind it and then to now all of a sudden when people have the opportunity to speak against that and to give another side they implement one thing after a neck uh, one thing after the next so they can actually you know it's almost like uh the media has its own iron dome so they're able to shoot down you know any other perspective that comes at them and i think this is another great example of that iron dome for the media you know uh we're going to look further into it as well and uh, talk more about this. I think I've always spoken about how the media uses its, you know, its platform 
especially during times like this where it should be focused more on humanitarian efforts. And it's almost like, you know, I almost feel like they built this war up. Like you watch a pay-per-view fight, you'll see one fighter and like this fighter's done this and, and that fighter's done this. And you bring them together in the conference room and, you know, they go at it until they get into the ring. But now, you know, these this is not like that. It's the actual fight's going on. And, uh, you know, they're still playing these uh, promos as propaganda on both sides, you know, which is a sad thing to watch. Hey guys, again, it's me, TSP, the spiritual philanthropist Rav Shiva. You can find me on Facebook as TSP Rav Shiva. And uh, you can also find me on uh, TikTok as TSP Rav Shiva as well. I may do a Twitter, I'm not sure. But guys, this is what I do. I'm 53 years old. I've been trying to do this for a long time. And I'll put my video together and show you how many years I've been censored and kept off platforms by certain people. And I can't mention their names. They know who they are. And uh, your likes, uh, subscribing and sharing my work helps me in many ways. Uh, you help to get my message broadcast out there as well. A perspective that's more geared towards humanity and not so much in the battle of between who's right and wrong. You know, I come from a spiritual perspective as well as a logical perspective. Why can I say logical? I have four degrees. My fourth one right now is going into physics. I have two other degrees in chemical substance abuse and one in English. So that's why I say that. So I, and I'm also a yogi, as you can see back here. This qualifies me having this stuff. Just kidding. <laughs> but guys, it really does help me. Like I said, you know, I really need the help, guys. So I'm hoping that you guys really do the best that you can pitch in and uh, do me that favor. Okay, guys, I really, really can uh, or will be very happy for this. Thank you very much, guys.